We were called the Don't Make a Wave Committee and we met in a church basement. Ian, one night uh, when we were leaving the meeting, a man named Irving Stowe said peace and I said, no, we should make that a green peace. And Irving came back the next meeting and said, wow, that's a good name. We should call ourselves Greenpeace. So we did. My name is Bill Darnell. I live in Vernon, British Columbia. I'm a member of Trinity United Church. I'm a grandfather, a retired teacher, a husband, and I've been an environmental activist most of my adult life. Camping had a big effect on me because I grew up in suburban Toronto and didn't have uh, much access to the natural world. When I was at camp, we were allowed to meet nature on our own terms for a full two weeks. And that really sustained me through my adult life. So when I saw things that were wrong, things that we were doing to damage our environment and our life, I was able to take action to correct them, to draw on that experience. When I was 25 years old, not that far removed from camp and living in Vancouver, the United States government was testing nuclear weapons in Alaska. That seemed crazy. And so a number of us sailed a vessel, also renamed Greenpeace, to Alaska. And ultimately, we were able to stop the United States government testing nuclear weapons underground. Your mission and service gifts support over two dozen United Church-run camps across the country. Every year, your generosity gives thousands of children an opportunity to go to camp. Thank you to your gifts to mission and service of the United Church of Canada. Camping made an incredible lifelong dif difference for me, and I know it will make a lifelong difference for other young people across this country. Mm -hmm.